your science classroom. And I am your teacher, Mom Beck Regala de Rizzi. How are you today? I'm sure you're excited for our lesson. Come on, let's go! Are you familiar with word war? Oh yes, it involves jumbled letters. All we have to do is to rearrange the letters to form the correct word based on a given clue. Now if you're ready to rock, then let's roll. Let's play word war. Here is the first word. It is a living planet. All right, it's Earth. That was nice. Let's have the second word. It refers to a layer of a pizza. Yes, it's for us. You got a big guess there. Here comes the third word. It refers to a wrestler, the wrestler's name, Dwayne Johnson. Yes, it's Rocky. Even a baby girl approves your answer. And for the last word, it sounds like Britney's surname. All right, it's fear. Oh, even the astronaut in the outer space approves your answer. Did you get four correct words? All right. Now with those words, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the Earth's little sphere and differentiate oceanic crust and continental crust. You should also be able to infer that the little sphere is divided into plates and identify the major little spheric plates. Let's keep the ball rolling! I have here a model of the Earth. Do you still remember its three main layers? Alright, we have the core, the mantle, and the crust. This time, we will focus on the crust. This now leads you to our key question for today, which is, what is little sphere? Here is a simple video of the Earth. Let's take a look. The huge molding core contributes something else essential for life on Earth. It is a way of helping to regulate the temperature of the Earth, which is a remarkable system. Magma heated by the core rises up to the Earth's surface as it spreads sideways. The Earth's crust is very slowly dragging the path. The outer layer of the Earth is called the lithosphere. It is a layer of the Earth extending from the surface to a depth of around 80 to 120 miles. The Earth is subdivided into five spheres. We have the cryosphere, the biosphere, the lithosphere, the atmosphere, and the hydrosphere. This time, let us focus on the lithosphere. Lithosphere came from the Greek words lithos, which means rocky, and sphera, which means sphere. So, simply, we can describe lithosphere as a rocky sphere. It is the rigid outermost shell of a terrestrial type planet or natural satellite that is defined by its rigid mechanical properties. On Earth, it is consists of the crust and the upper part of the mantle that behaves elastically on time scales of thousands of years or greater. Now you know.
The Earth's lithosphere is made up of a series of pieces which are called lithospheric plates that move slowly over time. It is believed that the original configuration of the Earth was one solid mass called Pangaea, as suggested by a German geologist, Alfred Wegener, and it broke up into seven land masses called the continents. The Earth's lithospheric plates include the African plate, the Antarctic plate, the Arabian plate, the Australian plate, the Caribbean plate, the Eurasian plate, the Caucasus plate, the Indian plate, the Juan de Fuca plate, the Nazca plate, the North American plate, the Pacific plate, the Philippine plate, the Kosha plate, and the South American plate. Lithosphere is divided into two. The oceanic lithosphere which is found under the ocean and the continental lithosphere which is found under the continents. The oceanic lithosphere, which is also called the oceanic crust, is consists mainly of mafic crust, which is rich in magnesium and iron, and ultramafic mantle, that is over 90% mafic. It is denser than continental lithosphere. It thickens as it ages and moves away from the mid-ocean ridge. The continental lithosphere is also called the continental crust. It is a layer of igneous sedimentary rock that forms the continents and the continental shelves. This layer consists mostly of granitic rock. Continental lithosphere is also less dense than oceanic crust, although it is considerably thicker. Lastly, the lithosphere is the moving part of the surface of the planet Earth. This is where brittle deformation happens like faults and damage from earthquakes. Now you know! Here is a beautiful music video about the Earth lithosphere. Let's watch it! So how do we take care of our planet? Here are some ways.
Let us now check your understanding of our lesson for today. Statements will be presented with missing words. All you have to do is to write down on your paper the words or words that will complete the statement. You have 5 seconds to complete each statement. Are you ready now? Let's begin. All right, let us now check your answers. Let us now have the first statement. Let us fear came from the Greek words lithos, which means blank, and sphera, which means blank. So what are the two words? All right, we have rocky and sphere. Will you read the first statement? Let's have the second statement. Little sphere is divided into two, the blanc crust and the blanc crust. What are the two words? Yes, it's oceanic and continental. Will you read the second statement? Here now is the third statement. Blank introduced the word Pangea. What is the answer? Oh yes, it's Alfred Wegner. Please read the third statement. For the fourth statement, the Earth's little sphere is made up of a series of pieces called blank that move slowly over time. What is the answer? Oh yeah, it is very good. Please read the fourth statement. And for the last statement, blank is the area where the living things on earth inhabit and live upon. What is the answer? All right, it's little sphere. Will you read the last statement? If we got a perfect score of five, this is for you. If you got 3 to 4, this is for you. And if you get a score of 0 to 2, don't worry. I'm sure you'll get a higher score next time. And that's all now for our lesson for today. I hope you learned something. And for our parting words, save the earth. It's the only planet we get to run on. Thank you for watching. God bless everyone. Till our next lesson here in your science classroom. Stay safe everyone. See ya.